How's it going everybody? My name is Loxavian and today I have a couple more updates on this player controller. Seems like everybody's liked the uh, previous video that I did on it and I've just been doing a lot more work, learning a lot and trying out a bunch of new stuff. As you can see, player model has a little sword that I put on the rig here, but it's not just for show. I can actually draw the sword and put it back. And if the sword is put away, you cannot swing or anything. You're just kind of still in walk and run. But if you press Alt and then draw your sword, you have two basic sword moves here. And you can see the red line is a ray that detects objects. You hit them and that's where our damage is gonna come from. And another thing that I added was instead of being able to just climb on everything, because it was too glitchy and I don't quite have it flushed out quite well enough to justify being able to climb on all walls like Breath of the Wild or something. So I added these ladders and you can just climb up these ladders. And then I added a little bit of a motion so when you get to the top of a ladder it will push you forward so you don't get caught up on the lip like it did before. So you can see we got a little bit of a longer ladder and you can just climb to the top. And for the next thing you could probably notice that there's this little dude that just walking around and We'll just let this guy play out for a second. You can see he's just kind of going through his little routine, walking up and down. Then once he gets to his fourth spot, he just kind of sits there for a second. And it's a little bit glitchy. He kind of freezes for a second, but then he gets going again. And he just keeps doing that over and over. If you walk up to him, he starts to aggro to you instead. You can see that he's following me around now. Now that he's aggroed, and if I run away far enough, you can see that he just kind of... <laughs> oh, well, there's a glitch. That was cool. Let's restart that and uh, demonstrate that again. Because he is, it's not using path following or anything like that right now. It's just a uh, a tracking, so it tracks to objects. But if we, uh, if we go and get his aggro for a second, now that he's not just standing around, he'll follow us. Then if we get too far away he just kind of goes about his business again it's still a work in progress everything's kind of still a little bit buggy there we go you can see we can smack him around a little bit he's got a little decal on him he's got a little ragdoll sadly uh the old system of ragdolls where you could make them all bendy and stuff like that doesn't work in the newer versions of blender to my knowledge if you have an idea or know of a way to make actual real ragdolls in the later versions of the upbge engine have any ideas leave a comment and it would be really helpful i'd really love to uh figure out how to make ragdolls in the newer versions because it's one of my favorite parts of making little games then we can just walk up to this ladder climb it go to this little area up here and that's about all the progress i've made in this uh little update it's been quite a bit of work getting the uh the ai system working and then getting everything else to work as you can see there's still a bunch of bugs but progress is happening and you can see this is kind of how my little AI system works he has a empty here this is a starting point and then he'll just travel through these empties and every time he collides with them it'll set him on a new path to go to the next one this is the third one he goes to the ladder and then he walks over here and this is the one where he goes into his idle position and then after a little while he walks back down to the first point and then he starts that loop over and over again just some basic AI, as well as the basic path following for the character when he aggroes. As far as the sword goes, this is pretty simple. All it is is a couple of messages that tell it to turn invisible or not. And then if we click on the other sword, you can see the same thing. And then also, the rig itself has a message it'll send. You can see that I have a ridiculous amount of spaghetti going on here. I've been trying to use states to kind of keep everything clean. It also helps with changing like with the AI, changing states, like the idle state and then the roaming state. But the logic for the sword is every time you press left alt, it sets you into a combat state or a basically non-combat state. So when you have the sword out, combat, and then when you put it away, you're no longer in combat. I hope you all enjoyed. Uh, if you have any uh, comments, any questions or any tips for me, leave a comment and we can get a conversation going. Anyways, hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next video.